Hi, Paul Whitney Daz Reader here. We're at Modex in Atlanta and we're spotlighting a couple different things. So one is the speed of our both hardware and software barcode scanners. So this is showing just how quickly we can sc scan barcodes. A lot faster than most employees, of course. And little Hammy the hamster here hasn't had a lunch break, but he's doing okay. <laughs> Uh, we're working with Kyocera phones, which are super rugged. They can go underwater. This has been playing video all day. At the end of the day, it still has about 70% battery. Super rugged. If you can crack the screen, they'll replace it for two years. So we're doing a combination of Kyocera phones, Seiko printers, and Asreader scanners. So we've got a total solution. And we put these together, and you are able to... Scan 1,100 tags a second at about 40 feet with our normal L251G. But there's always that case where you want to pick a specific item. So one of the weaknesses of RFID is, let's say I only wanted to pick this and I don't want to scan that. Um, you can do super near field, but there's still a risk that when you're trying to get this one item, you might get the one next to it. And to solve that problem, uh, we have a new product here called RecoHand. We're going to walk over here for a little demo. So this was just nominated and is one of the finalists for the RFID Journal Live Best Product of the Year Award. Uh, and we've got a demonstration right here, which Yuki will do for you. He's with uh, Paging Frontier. Okay. So uh, the wearable leader is uh, just um, take the first thing first out and in fact, A101 is the oldest among them. So the operator accidentally reads the 102. No good. This is uh, so not uh, first in first out. Next, 101 is okay. So we can get RFID information just touching, just grabbing. So once again, just to clarify, if I was trying to scan this with a handy reader or a gun type, and I'm trying to get this one, I might accidentally get that one. But with this, we've just got a two centimeter read range. That's it. It's not reading everything around the wearable, which every RFID wearable to date was kind of reading everything around it, right? This is just reading that far. So there's no way that you can accidentally read that one when you reach for this one. You're actually touching the tag. It almost makes UHF like an HF type situation, which is really exciting. That solves a problem that UHF has been faced with for years. So that's it. Staging Frontier and Asreader, we look forward to hearing yeah. from you.